Hello. Happy homebrew Wednesday. On a Wednesday. So today I've been brewing the beer to go into Flask Gordon, which will be heading off to Chris Aston. So there's some brewing footage here, um, and then we'll see how it goes on. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like the video and do comment. We'll see you later. See you next week, in fact. Bye. So, hot water on. On a stormy brew day. So here's the grist for the brew day and there is um, pale malt and I wanted to have some Munich malt but I didn't have any Munich malt left so I've used um, Karamunsch malt but it's 10 lover bond so it's quite a light. And we'll see how we get on with that. So here we are doing in on this brew day. And this brew, if successful, is going into Flask Gordon. Or so it is anyway. And will be winding its way to um, Chris. Hasten. Okay, so there we are in, and it's about 66 degrees, which should give us um, a drier, stronger beer. And I'm going to mash it for 75 minutes, just because that's my available time at the moment. Okay, so that's the mash on. Once the mash is on, I'm going to prepare uh, dinner for the family and tonight we're going to have Slimming World Chili. So it's a recipe from Slimming World which is great. I've lost four stone getting there and uh, my wife's a consultant and we're doing very well on the weight loss program so and that's what we're going to have for tea. It's particularly tasty. Here we are in here, there's paprika, there's ground cumin, there's ground coriander, some chili flakes, tomatoes, chopped garlic, onions, this is the sauce part. Um, it is it is fantastic, you need to have a look at the um, recipe online in the Slimming World, but it's uh, fantastic. So we're just about now to put in um, the beef, the mince, which we've already browned. Almost forgot a teaspoon of Worcestershire or Worcester sauce. Use some um, haricot beans in there. But now we're going to add the red kidney beans to. And then we're going to bring it up and simmer it. And when it's simmering, then I'll put the minced beef in. Okay, so we're there. And we're just going to put the minced beef in. And give it a stir through. As I say, the beef's already been browned and then drained and set aside, kept warm before adding it at this stage. The reason I'm plugging this is it is a particularly tasty recipe. Um, certainly different from lots of the chilies I've had and it's absolutely delicious. So now we just... Um, Turn it down, gently boil for 20 minutes until thickened, 
and then at the end I will stir in some chopped fresh coriander. And by the time I clear up, we should be ready to mash, well not mash, to sparge um, on the brew. So that's the uh, water on my glasses, having fun. Um, I'll tell you about that in a second. That was the chilli made, done, dusted. Uh, I went straight from there and I've bathed the dogs, sorted those out. Um, hence the water on the glasses and things like that. Washed my hands and everything and just as I did that, the timer, the mash timer went off. So I'm in the brewery starting, or about to start the spot. So here we go, the um, strike water is at 77 and that should do perfectly, here we go. Last part is the ball up thing and what we're doing here is running some through to get rid of all the husks and bits and bobs that are in there and also to set the, excuse my fingers, to set the grain bed and the filter bed. So we've now poured the uh, ball off from the first ball offing into back into the mash tun and it's seeping through now into the grain beds and I'll run a little bit more off. As soon as it runs clear then we'll start mashing proper. And of course in the last bit I did say we we'll start mashing proper. Of course what I meant was sparging properly. So this is the first runnings, and when that gets down a bit we will be putting the hot strike water through at about 77 degrees, which will go through the drains and wash out any residual sugar for that behind. The 77 degree centigrade water running through, it's best to keep a couple of inches or so on the top as it's going through, and that will dry through and wash off any residual sugars. Okay so the first hops are going in El Dorado and I'm just going to put them in right at the beginning of the boil so really they're like first word hops. Okay and then I'm just going to let that come up to the boil and we shall see how that goes. I will give them a stir of course. Yes, what you didn't what you didn't see in there was I've just put in with 15 minutes to go the yeast nutrient and protoflock. And here go the 30 minutes. Yeah, 30 minutes. Five minutes. Oops, so see, that was clever, wasn't it? That's the five minutes gone in. And that's flame out or switch off and it's flame out there are 60 grams of hops going in and I'm going to start eventually <laughs> and uh, sorry about the camera work and I'm going to start and we'll cool them for a while. Well, that was it. 
it went well and on the next video we'll see it fermenting hopefully it'll uh, turn out to be a beauty the original gravity starting gravity is 1054 air belly blues what color are my new shoes <laughs> cause my feet and belt buckle are things I rarely see <laughs> My problem is not my glands. It comes poured from aluminum cans. <laughs> and Pap's blue ribbon's been awfully good to me. 